Hi there, guys. I hope that this video, again, is not moving faster than my mouth or dragging or whatever the case may be. And I hope the lighting is good. But I hope also all y'all are doing well on this beautiful Thursday night. Um, yeah, guys, um, it's kind of late here. Excuse me. And I want to come on into a Goodwill haul, a Value City haul, and they are thrift stores. Goodwill and Value Village. That's what it is, Value Village. And both of these are hauls. Yeah, guys. Um, and they are thrift stores as well. The first item I want to get, because my husband found him some good items. And it's this here. Um, HP. He loves electronics, guys. And he gets stuff and work on it and fix it, give it away, or keep it, whatever the case may be. And that's what he loves to do, guys. So, he got this HP DeskJet D2430. And it's a, I guess what, printer? Um, it's just a printer. I don't think it scans or do anything else. Just something simple. We have one that's like, I think, what, three into one? Um, but he, I don't know. He just, he just, you know, or whatever the case may be. Um, so, yeah. And this was 313 from um, Value Village. 313. And that's what it looks like. Just something simple. And it's not tarnished or worn that much at all. I think it has one mark over here. Or whatever. So he has this. Um, he was very super excited. Here you go, honey. About this. Um, yeah. Okay. And um, I'm going to be going back and forth with this Goodwill Val Value Village thrifting. Uh, we thrifted the day with Papa, my father-in-law. I love, I love Dollar Tree hauls with him, and I love thrifting with him because he loved to thrift. And this next item that we got is um, one of the smaller versions of the Lean Mean um, George Foreman um, machines, and he got this from. Where did you get this from, honey? I got this from Goodwill. He got this from Goodwill, and the prices are on these items, most of these items. And he got this here for $7.99. And you can, it's just a mini one. You can warm the bun up there. Um, and inside it is really nice. It's not tarnished or messed up, if y'all can see that, of any kind of form or fashion. Um, it was real, really kept. Yeah, so... That's, he got that for $7.99, and the cord is attached. Here you go, and I will be talking to my husband, because this is quite a bit of stuff. Along, because he's going to be putting it up as I give it back to him, so yeah. Alright, I got these two items from Goodwill. Um, an old-fashioned bingo game, and that was $1.99. Just one of those old-fashioned bingo games. Yeah, <laughs> Um, then I got this little game for my godson when he come over. It is pop-up game, sock juggle. It's kind of like something like trouble when it has that, um, yeah, and you pop it. So, yeah, and that was $1.99 as well. Yep, and this is for kids age four and up. And you can do two to four players. Um, next thing I got from Goodwill... They had all these spatulas, um, and I needed, um, I wanted to get well, this spoon here. It was a dollar, because I, I, I like green, this fluorescent color green. They had all kinds for spatulas and spoons for a dollar. I just wanted that one because I like to keep a lot of plastic spoons because I have those non-sticking pots that my husband brought a while back, like way last year. Um, also, I got these Fashion Fast Flats, Dr. Scholl's for her. And, um, yeah, guys, and it was still in the original box, and the original price was this, if y'all can see that, $29.99, and, um, it's fast, flat, glitter, 
black and it's um yeah and um i got that for 2.99 and this is the box and um they hold these these are those things that bend those bendable thingies yeah and this is the inside of it it looks like never been worn and they're a size large, 19 in. Yeah. Fabric upper made in China. So I thought that was a good buy. And they fold. You can stick them in your purse, whatever. Cool. Two of those. Came with two. Okay. And moving right along. This is going to be a long video. So I do apologize, guys. Next thing I got from Goodwill. Was this thing here. I had a really expensive one. And I loaned it out. And um, I don't know. It didn't work. After I, I don't know what happened. I don't you know. It doesn't have any gadgets to it. But I thought this was a good buy. And my favorite color guys. This is a Carnair. Um, foot. I guess foot soaker massager. So you can see that it's not worn at all. Really nice. Nice. And it's my favorite color, guys. Nice. And the cord. So, yes. And that was $7.99. Yes, from Goodwill. Okay. Uh-huh. The next item was a super, super buy, guys. My husband wears a size 13 shoe. And we buy him nice shoes. Because we want them to last a long time. So, he do not wear um, Walmart shoes or pay less. And that's nothing against those companies because I buy them and wear them. But, my husband has a big foot, y'all. When I said big foot, 13. And, and so, anyway, he said, wear the show the rest of his shoes. But, no, I'm not going to do that because he got a big foot. This was a good buy. Do y'all see how much these shoes were? $29.99 and they are Adidas. Adidas guys. Y'all see that Adidas. Goodbye. Not torn, worn at all. They had them in a case, didn't they? They had them in a case, so they were not torn, worn at all. You see Adidas. They are original Adidas. And he's what he's that kind of person, him and his son. They'll buy shoe, name brand shoes that nobody else wear. So, I, I I didn't see him buy these, but I, I this is him. Nobody probably wouldn't wear them, but he will. And they were $29.99. He said they were waiting for him. <laughs> so, yes, God, great buy. That's the second pair of shoes that he had found about three years ago. He found some exclusive Nikes. And he ended up taking them. No, not exclusive Nikes. I said we went we went to uh uh we went to Plateau to the thrift store a couple years ago and he found some Nikes. They were exclusive. They were black, red, blue, and all kinds and they were shiny. And he ended up giving it to somebody that needed a pair of shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's hauling up I this is the second ghetto video, okay? I'm sorry. But he is excited about his thrift haul. Okay, the next thing he got was some Echo. Um, unlimited jeans, I think. He, um, yeah, something like that. Unlimited. Yeah. Anyway, these were the jeans he got. He likes that distressed, color-looking jeans, or whatever you want to call it, but he had, he's tall, too. Great buy. He got those. I don't know how much he paid for those. Um, then, um, uh, what else? He had some shirts. He got this shirt. Which is a Rectech Old Navy shirt. He got this. Because he has some black and gray Nikes that he bought months ago. And um, and then, and then he got this shirt. He loves these kind of shirts. Um, Under Armour shirt. Uh, never seen it before. But he is got this little thing on the back. And then it's just a black tee um, shirt. Yep. And, um, he also got, uh, that's it. Oh, he bought me these, um, here, brand new, never harm barrel shoes. Because I go through barrel shoes like crazy. 
because I dragged my foot. It's <laughs> bad habit. And these were just my size. And I needed some more barrel shoes. And I really were looking for some. So I said, well, I won't buy any. Because usually I buy expensive barrel shoes. So they last a long time. But these will be fine for now. Yeah. So we got that. And they were $1.99, I think. Um, and then we got some um, kitchen towels. They call them. Five pack bar mop towels, absorbent and durable for the kitchen. Um, and they and simply simple, simple clean. Hold on, honey. I am. This is. Yeah. What's up? They can't wear these. Yeah, you can wear that. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Son, getting school clothes together. All right. These were five in a pack, different colors. Great for the spring. <laughs> But I'll be using these in the kitchen because we go through these things like crazy. Um, anyway, the last, the uh, um, th um, okay, thrift item. Okay, uh, when I was at Value Village, I got, I found two purses. I always go to the thrift store here, here in the city. I guess not city, but you barely ever find name brand purses, or either I don't go the right time. It's one of the two. But any, but this time I they are not name brand, but they were gorgeous. And I got this from Value Village, and I think I paid too much for it. But anywho, it was six bucks, and um, this is what it looks like. This is so me. I love it, love it, love it. In pink, no wear on it at all. Hardware and tag nicely. It looks brand new to be honest. Um. Yeah, it is because the thing's still in it. It's brand new, but this is the look of it. Yes, favorite color, guys. Hey! It has a pocket on the back right here. Yes, and yeah, pocket back here. And then it has all these different sections inside. It's clean, never been used. So I was excited about that. I love the look of it. And then look at the hardware on the side. It's durable. It won't break easy and all that good stuff. Yes, yeah, super excited about that. And then my next one. I've been looking for a kind of like a small cross bag. But not too small because I'm a, one of those women that care crap in it, my purse. You hear me? And it's not really, I wouldn't care a lot in it. I mean, it's it's intact, but you can tell they use it and they didn't put a lot of wear on it. So I don't I I don't know where to get leather cleaner from, but I'm gonna clean. My husband will clean it up or I'll clean it up. But anyway, it is a Liz Born, Liz Claiborne purse, and it has an outside button. I mean, button pocket, right like like here, and then inside there, there's another. Zipper. If y'all can see this. Well, anywho, it must have already open. My bad. Another little pocket. In a pocket. Okay. Then there's another section right there. And it has the Liz Claiborne card in here. Right there. So, yeah. And it has a little key thingy. It comes off. Which isn't he. Okay. And like I said, it's not too distressed at all. Just need to be wiped down, clean, and refreshed. And all that good stuff. And then in the inside, it has... Yeah, it has pocket. You know, the regular pocket there. And then that other pocket that it has there. And it's, this is what it looks like inside there. And then it has a zipper opening there. And then that opening right here. And I love the inside of it. I would love to have a skirt like that. Or a blazer. I like that look. And then there's that pocket on the outside. So, yes, this is a Liz Claiborne. It looks uh, like one of those older ones. Vintage kind of purse and it has a long long strap and I like that because I'm sure this is going to be a good 
like when I'm going shopping or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And it's really, the, this part, the strap is not that worn at all. So, I'm really super excited about my haul, guys. And I thank y'all for watching. And I would say blessings and everything like that, guys. I'm just super excited, guys, about my haul. Oh, also, I got I went to Walmart, grabbed me some um, rotisserie chicken and something else. But anyway, I got this, guys. I've been needing primer, and I finally got this. So anybody have tried this, let me know down below, and y'all let me know what y'all think about it, or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to try it, and if this doesn't work, then I will go to um, Ramel, and then I'll try Black Gravy. So hopefully this will be the one for me. Um, yeah, guys, and if y'all want to know what I'm wearing on my lips, it would be these two products right here. Bam. Wet and wow, guys. And it is called Retro Pink. And um, Doll Pink 08 in NYX NYX Gloss. So, yes, guys. Talk to y'all soon. Love you. I'm praying for you. And I hope that you're doing the same for me. God bless. And...